What is up boys and girls? Chris Chavez here with AndroidMe.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a cool little hack slash mod. Uh, you do have to have root access in order to be able to do this. So if you don't have a rooted phone, then you, uh, you're kind of out of luck. But um, if you've ever seen the Galaxy S line of phones by Samsung, uh, they have this whole TouchWiz UI. And uh, one of the cool things about it is a cool little sound it makes. It sounds really simple, but uh, it makes a cool little sound when you select apps or make selections on your phone and stuff. Uh, the normal audible selection on Android or stock Android or even Sense UI has a weird little like snap. It sounds like a bug cracking or something. I don't know how to explain it, but on the Samsung Galaxy S, it makes this nice little pleasant ding, 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 and it just sounds so beautiful and wonderful. Um, I just had to have it on my phone, and it's actually pretty easy to do. Uh, it's it just takes root access first of all, and then another app called Root Explorer. Um, what this app does is it basically allows you to modify some of the files that are on the system partition of your phone so that you can change around the sounds and stuff. So um, what I'm showing you is going to be pretty simple and easy to use and it's going to allow you to uh, do a lot more bigger and better things later um, if you want to be, uh, I guess, just be more advanced with it and stuff. So uh, just sit back and I'm going to show you guys how to get her done. All right, so as you can see right now, or let me show you, but um, I have audible selections on right now. You can hear it, it makes that strange little, um, sounds like paper ripping. Yeah, so that's just the default um, audible selections. And you can find them under sound. Yours might be a little bit different, but I'm running a custom ROM, so it just looks a little bit different. But it's right here, audible selections. Um, I want to change that into the Galaxy S sounds, which um, their audible selection sounds a lot better, just more pleasant to me. So you need to use either Root Explorer app or SUFBS. Root Explorer sometimes just force closes on me when I'm using Cyanogen, but it seems to be working cool on, um, on one of the Sense ROMs, or if I'm on a Sense ROM, Root Explorer usually works pretty fine, but every time I'm on Cyanogen, for some reason, it just gives me a force close, so... Uh, let's just go ahead and open up SUFBS. And we need to... mount uh, the system partition. We need to meet, mount it as read-write so that we can write to it. So um, you do that by pushing this little S up here in the corner. And now it's under read-write or RW, the system partition. So once that's done, we need to go into our SD card. It actually puts me on the root of my phone here, but I need to get into my SD card because that's where I have the file stored. And I have it right here. Dang it, Franco. Okay, so now that I'm in here, uh, I'm just going to find the file. It's effectic.ogg. I'm going to go ahead and, um, I think it's long. Yeah, okay, so here we go. Copy. And what I need to do is I need to paste it under my system, which is this. You'll see app cache, um, data, dev, mount, pros, root, and all that stuff. So I need to get into system. Uh, once inside system, we need to go to media, audio, UI. And you can see here, there's all the different sounds for when you do a key press, uh, down to when you dock it, uh, when you click the camera. So technically, if you know how to convert sound files into uh, OGG files, you could um, change any of the sounds to make them like however you want, which I think is pretty cool because uh, some of the sounds I just don't really care for too much, but it would be kind of cool to change them around a little bit. So we just need to change effecttick.ogg, so I'm just going to paste it here. So let's go to paste. Um, normally it'll ask you if you want to overwrite whatever file was there, but um, I... When you use this app here, it just doesn't ask you to overwrite, it just automatically overwrites it. So that is now done. And I don't have any sounds anymore, so I'm going to, uh, well, before we leave here, let's go ahead and mount it as read only. And let's get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and reboot. And when we return, we should have the um, sounds from the Samsung Galaxy S. So let's see.
right, looks like we're back in and let's see if we have the new sounds. There you go. Can you hear that? Oh yeah, you can hear that for sure. So yeah, there it is, uh, the Samsung Galaxy S. Much, much cooler sound. Doesn't sound like paper ripping anymore, and um, I like this a lot. All right, so that was how you get the cool little audible selections from the Samsung Galaxy S, and you port them to whatever Android phone you have. So this doesn't just work for Evos and stuff. You know, it works for whatever phone you have. Uh, all it takes is the Root Explorer app, and um, it allows you to move those files around and stuff. So. Uh, Technically speaking, you can do other more technical stuff to your phone, like maybe removing some of the system apps that are on your system partition. Keep in mind, of course, you have to have root access and NAND unlocked and all that stuff. So full, full, full root in order to do some of this cool stuff here. Uh, one of the alternatives to using Root Explorer app would just basically, if you're familiar with ADB at all, you can use the ADB commands and be able to push and pull files and do all that stuff, but kind of a little complicated for me. I'm not really too into the whole CLI interface and all that stuff. Um, I like uh, a UI and being able to modify files and just paste and cut and do all that. So, um, yeah, feel free to go wild. If you have some other tunes out there, you can actually port some other sounds and stuff to other parts of the UI on your phone, whether it be unlocking or, I don't know, doing whatever, notifications or whatever's on there. So, yeah, I'm Chris Chavez. Thank you guys for watching my little video tutorial here. Um, come back for some more of them. I hope this was helpful to you. I'll see you guys next time.